Uh, this is my art project, which is a timeline of Donatello's artwork and his most influential and important sculptures. Let's get a little background on Donatello. Uh, Donatello was born in 1386 in Florence, Italy. Donatello was famous for sculpting and making statues. Donatello sculpted in bronze and marble. Those were the two main stones he used. Uh, Donatello used a Gothic style uh, with his statues. Donatello is sculpted using a, like, a flattening technique. As you can see, if you compare his David to Michelangelo's David, Michelangelo's David is more defined. He has more of a flat. Um, Donatello is sculpted with more of a humanistic approach, too. St. John the Evangelist. Uh, this was Donatello's first major sculpture. This was created in 1408. The sculpture was carved out of marble, one of his main stones he used to carve. Uh, this sculpture depicts Peter the Apostle as an aged man. This made Peter more of a human figure, which uh, goes out his more humanistic style. This next sculpture is St. George. St. George was sculpted outside of the church of the Orange and Michael. Um, the sculpture was created in 1415. The sculpture depicts the moment when St. George slayed a dragon. And this sculpture was made out of marble. And that's one of the most common use stones that he carved out of, like I said earlier. And you can also see his really humanistic features, which is the main style of what he did. The next uh, sculpture he made was the Cantoria. Uh, the Cantoria was carved and sculpted for the dome in the Florence Cathedral. The Cantoria was sculpted in 1433. It depicts a spe uh, sculpture of a spiritual foundation with implemented continuous movement. This sculpture uh, doesn't have too much depth, as you can see. It's not like, if you look at the figures in it, they're not, like, too defined. That, so this goes with his style. Next is David. David is notably Donatello's most famous sculpture. This sculpture contradicts Michelangelo's sculpture. That is a depiction of David as well. Uh, David was sculpted in 1440. Uh, this sculpture of David depicts David after the battle of David and Goliath, where he has a hat on with a wreath around it, which represents victory. Uh, this sculpture really captures Donatello's humanistic approach and his shallow sculpting style, how this one isn't really defined, like I said earlier, that Michelangelo's is, the body on it is very defined. But it's still, it's, it's going out of a humanistic approach. Uh... Next sculpture is the Feast of Harad. The Feast of Harad was created as a relief sculpture. Uh, the sculpture was created in 1427. Uh, the Feast of Harad is located in the Siena Cathedral, which is actually in Italy. This sculpture depicts a meal where John the Baptist's head is being served on a plate and Harad is in shock. As you can see, it's a still a humanistic approach. This next sculpture is the Magdalene Penitent. This is Donatello's last uh, fully completed sculpture. The Magdalene Penitent was sculpted in 1455. The sculpture depicts Mary Magdalene moving throughout the desert with a look of penitence on her face. This is said to be one of Donatello's most moving and meaningful sculptures just because of the emotion. It uh, really ties up the humanistic approach. Next was his like last carving slash kind of it's not really a sculpture but uh, it's the twin bronze uh, twin uh, pulpits. Uh, this was his final work and it's like a it's a box like design with figures carved into it. It was created in 1460 and around the 1460s. Uh, this figure in the pulpits uh, depicts the crucifixion in Christ and you can see all these little characters throughout. Uh, this last slide is about Donatello's uh, end of life. So Donatello died in December of 1466. Donatello was buried in the San Lorenzo Basilica. Uh, Donatello is said to die from unknown causes, but Donatello actually did live to about 80 years old, 
which was double what most people lived at that time. So he did really live a full life. And in the upper right hand corner, you can see a picture of what he would have looked like uh, about the time of his death, so when he was older. 